lifestyle kind of sore. These are confessions of a lifestyle kind of sore. These are confessions of a lifestyle kind of sore. I'm pretty sure you never felt this kind of We're shaking. This is Mr. Cab Cabernet, lifestyle connoisseur. And these are confessions of a lifestyle connoisseur. Today's confession, uh, I need to talk about unconditional love. The notion, the idea, the concept, the obsession with unconditional love. Throughout my life dealing with women, I mostly dealt with older women taught me a whole lot about womankind in general as well as about mankind you know women grown women can teach you about men but um I think as as young men were raised especially in North America um we're raised to know and understand that you know we got to have certain things you know, um, we got to bring certain things to the table to get certain things back. You understand? From from a from a, from a woman. So, you know, we're taught to be providers and um, accumulate wealth and finances in order in order to you know be this provider and have what kind of, whatever kind of woman we want to have. And that's basically how it works. I just think that it seems that women, in my experience and a lot of other males' experience that I that I've spoken to, like I said, especially in the U.S., because I've traveled abroad and, and I've dealt with a lot of women from different countries, and it, I don't know if this if this is a thing everywhere, but um, it just seems that women uh, more so than men have this idea and belief system and this unconditional love and I think maybe it has something to do with just you know the society of this country and you know the, the movies and you know the, the songs everything is unconditional love and love y'all love you to the stars and the moons collapse and you know the, the mountains crumble and I my love is deeper than the deep blue sea and all this shit like this You can, you know, you can break my heart, you can take my money, but I, I'll always love you and all this shit. Listen, let me tell you right now, my love has conditions, okay? Uh, and most of the women I've ever met, you know, their love has conditions. I, I don't think I've ever met a woman who didn't have conditions on, you know, Staying in love with me and, and you know and dealing with me, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and I think women are also taught that, like you know. Um, but it's funny. It's like a lot of women they they want unconditional love, but they don't give unconditional love. I don't want unconditional love from anyone. I don't want anyone to love me if I'm not giving them. If I'm not earning the love and vice versa, you know what I'm saying? The, the only people that that deserve unconditional love are elderly people and, and children. You know why? Because they're, they're not accountable for their own thoughts and actions. You know what I'm saying? They're, they're, they're excluded from those rules because they say shit sometimes or think things sometimes or do things sometimes that is, is out of their control. They're still, you know, as 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 I said, you're, you're once an adult with twice a child. 
So yes, unconditional love is to your grandparents and your your parents and uh, you know your children and, and, and children in general, like, and and, and they give that they give that same unconditional love back. But if you're a grown ass man or woman, twenties, thirties, forties, fifties, with, with, with you know with all your scruples and your mental your mental state is healthy and you know what you're saying and doing and you're in control of your thoughts and your actions, then you have to be held accountable for these things. You can't disrespect me or play me out or, you know, like, and, and, then, and then expect me to just continue to love you. That's not, that's not part of, you know, that, that's, that goes against my conditions. <laughs> you did? I don't, I don't understand how this is, has this become, has this become a thing now? It's like, I hear grown people on the internet all day talking about, he's in love, you unconditionally. Nah, you know, next or whatever. you like, is what, what kind of child are you? How old are you? What grade are you in? And that's why, you know, this, this type of idea and thinking is responsible for so many failed relationships. People's expectations and, and lack of effort and just believing that they can be broken and, you know, um, ha you know, uh, 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 unstable mentally or emotionally and uh you know because they haven't worked on themselves and they're not interested in working on themselves because that's too hard and they just want you to take them as they are you know what i'm saying like if I, you're enough that's another thing i see you're enough don't let him think that you're not enough you're enough you're enough for who you know what i'm saying like you might not be enough for him and you might not be enough for anybody that 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 has any self-respect for themselves because you can't just expect an unconditional love and if you're not able to give it you know what i'm saying because unconditional means no condition so this is for the sisters unconditional means whatever he does and says whatever he does and says you're going to continue to love him and love meaning trust, respect, honor, appreciate, right? So y'all gotta really rethink what this means, unconditional love. You know, um, love should have conditions because that's the only way we're held accountable and responsible for our, our words, our thoughts, and our actions. Unconditional love. How ridiculous. Well, these are just the thoughts of Cab Cabernet, Lifestyle Connoisseur, AKA. These are confessions of a lifestyle connoisseur. Lifestyle connoisseur. These are confessions of a lifestyle connoisseur. These are confessions of a lifestyle connoisseur. I'm pretty sure you never felt.